Why does the terrapin have white spots on its shell? This is how white spots look like. Black spots are white spots that remain untreated. White spots can occur due to bacterial or fungus infection. It can occur on the carapace and the plastron. This is how a severe white spots case looks like. This is also an example of shell rot. Shell rot can happen if the spots are not treated. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topio Vets. Why do the terrapins suffer from white spots? They may suffer from white spots as they may have been submerged in water for long hours. This allows the fungus to grow on the shell of the radiate slider. There may also have been insufficient basking. Basking is the exposure of UV lights to the terrapin. When does white spots occur? It occurs when water and tank hygiene is poor. Poor water hygiene is when the water is not dechlorinated or filtered. Poor tank hygiene is when the tank is not cleaned out frequently. This increases the chance of white spots occurring as fungus thrives in unclean areas. As Singapore is an urban city, 99% of terrapins are housed in apartments where they are placed in a non filter bowl. Hence, there is no chance for them to be in a pond where they can climb up to bask. One of the case studies. Today is the 5th of June, and as you can see, this red ear slider has white spots on its shell. However, there is much lesser white spots now since it is the 5th day of its medication. Compared to a normal red ear slider, as you can see, it is no, not supposed to have any white spots. This is how it all started. One month ago, it started having white spots. It was fed commercial pellets. Its living conditions was that it was under direct sunlight and the water was changed every day. However, the water was not dechlorinated. There was also no filter. This is a fungal infection. This fungus is commonly present in tanks of the terrapins. Treatment for white spots. Use antifungal shampoo and brush from inwards to outwards. Remember to also brush the lower shell. Use another brush to brush the shell when rinsing to ensure the shampoo is totally rinsed off. Use a disinfectant and scrub from inwards to outwards. Remember to repeat with the lower shell. Lastly, apply a thin layer of antifungal cream on the spots. Changes to be made to its living conditions. Dry dock it for 20 hours a day. Dry docking means placing it in a tank with no water. What does dry docking do? Dry docking deprives fungus of the chance to grow. Hence, in order to cure white spots, one should dry the shell and also treat. However, place it in the water for at least 2 hours a day to allow it to eat. This is because it only eats in water. As some terrapins prefer to be submerged in water 24-7, dry docking is done to allow their shell to dry. Conclusion Tips to owner White spots is treatable. It takes around 2 weeks for white spots to be cured. What happens if white spots is not treated? Shell rot and infection occurs. If shell rot and infection is left untreated, the terrapin will die. Tips to owner. Ensure it has a big place to climb up to bask and a lamp to dry out the shell. 
one should seek prompt treatment if anything is unusual. Things to take a note of Take note of water hygiene, enough drying time, and a balanced diet. For water hygiene, have a filter. Enough drying time, bask in sun for one hour every day. A balanced diet is composed of commercial pellets and vegetables.